if you're new here, my name is Zara. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at this season's must-have trends. However, all the pieces that I'm going to show you about how I incorporate this season's trends are not new. These are pieces that I have had for a while. They're not new pieces. And I'm also going to make recommendations to you as to how you can easily incorporate this season's trends without breaking the bank. One of this season's must-have trends is the colour red. Um, you would have seen many designers feature it on their catwalks. Um, the colour red was very prevalent. Um, Gucci's must-have bag this season is the horse bit bag in red. Um, so you could, if you don't want to buy that bag, you could easily maybe find in your closet a red bag, um, like I have done here. You could also um, easily incorporate it by uh, wearing a pair of tights. Gucci um, did have, or do have, some red fishnet tights. I personally don't think they are worth £250. I think you could buy from other retailers for a lot less um, and still get the same effect. So that's an easy option to incorporate this season's trend very subtly into your style for autumn, winter without breaking the bank. I've always kind of been a, quite a fan of the color red. So I have a couple of pieces here. First up is this vintage Emmanuel Ngaro uh, blazer. I did see that Magda Butram has done something very similar to this. This actually belonged to my mother um, and it's probably from, I'm going to say either late 80s, early 90s, but it's just such a gorgeous blazer and bang on trend for the season. Um, another piece also that um, I really love that I bought probably two years ago, is this Bottega jacket. It doesn't look much here, but on it's really great. And also the other amazing thing about this is, is that you can, <laughs> see, pop it apart and it becomes a cropped jacket. And um, so this, is a very worthwhile investment piece. I bought this in their outlet um, and I wear this quite a lot. So as I said, I'm not buying any new pieces. Um, and so my must have red bag is gonna be my trusty Chanel classic flap. Um, it's a vintage piece, it used to belong to my mother and is one of my favorite and probably most worn bags that I own. Next up is the little black coat, uh, which featured in many designers shows. Um, the one that I'm going to show you in just a second is a Marks and Spencer's one from Autograph, which I've had for absolutely ages. It's made of wool, it's really good quality. Um, so you don't have to buy a designer piece, but here are some that uh, were featured on the catwalk for this season. I think a black coat is a must have for any wardrobe. Uh, if you buy a black coat, you're gonna have that for years and years and years to come. So I would say invest in a good quality one. It doesn't always have to be a designer piece. Like I said, this one is from Marks and Spencers. It's um, a high street brand, but it's a uh, very good quality. Um, so as you see, it's a plain black coat that I've had. I'm going to say for like seven, eight years, something like that. It just is really great and staple goes with everything. And if you don't have a black coat, if you are going to buy something new, I would say buy a black coat. Next up are metallics. Uh, metallics featured quite heavily in um, on the catwalk. And depending on the sort of person that you are, you could incorporate having it in a pair of shoes or a bag, or you could go the full way and wear a metallic dress or top um, or a pair of trousers. A lot of uh, brands are doing um, silver trousers, which look really nice with a white plain shirt or t-shirt. Um, equally, as I said, if you're not really brave enough to sort of go 
the full way and look too space age, I think a bag or a pair of shoes is a great way to go. Here is one of my trusty mini Fendi baguettes in a metallic, it's like a pinky silver. It goes with everything and it's a subtle way to um, bring the trend into your wardrobe for this season. And again, a great investment piece. This is from the sort of early noughties and if you've been following me for a little bit, you would have seen that I collect Fendi bags and this is one of my collection. <laughs> Another trend that has come back in again are ballerinas, although I don't think it ever was out. Um, it's just more based on the typical ballerina point shoe where you can tie the thing up or you have the strap across for the flatties as I do ballet I know the difference between the two but a lot of brands have been influenced by this like Miu Miu um, their ballet shoe has definitely been inspired by a regular dancing dancers ballet shoe um, I tend to wear ballet shoes not just for ballet but in real life too my favorite ones are you know the classic Chanel ballet flats. I have quite a few of these, go with everything. But equally, I've got um, some nice ones that I bought um, earlier this year from Zara, they're in velvet, and they have the little uh, strap that goes across, which is a, a nod to the ballerina. Um, I don't think you can go wrong with a ballerina or a ballet slipper. I think everybody needs a pair. They are definitely a must have piece for your wardrobe. Another trend um, this season is a black tie. Now you would have seen this in Valentino's shows. A lot of the influencers were seen wearing it. Some wore with a little dress and a shirt and then a black tie, some more in a more traditional way with a suit. Um, I think it's quite a fun way to play with the whole masculine, feminine idea, which Saint Laurent first introduced many years ago. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's just like a fun way to play with um, fashion. And I just think, you know, a tie we always associate more with the man wearing, but equally a woman can definitely wear it and still keep it feminine. So. It's a great little piece to maybe add to your wardrobe if you don't have one and without breaking um, the bank either because most retailers, um, high street or designer will sell a black tie. Then last but not least, it is the cape um, or big scarf that we saw uh, featured on the um, catwalk of uh, places like Saint Laurent could easily do this with a pashmina and add a beautiful brooch um, to the scarf or like me today I'm using a uh, you know a large cashmere scarf and then it's just about the draping you know you just kind of drape it over the shoulder and then you know maybe pin it here um, and Saint Laurent they think they had them over blazers and they wore them with trousers big sunglasses and it just looked very very chic it's something very easy to replicate and incorporate into your everyday style so i think the takeaway from today's video is uh one of the easiest way to incorporate this season's trends is probably just by buying an accessory if you want to buy something so be it a pair of tights a tie a pair of shoes or a bag and that way you can remain true to your personal style, but just add a little bit of this season's must have into your style. And you know, if you buy, if you do decide to buy a designer piece, it's something that you can probably keep for a long time. Or if you decide to buy a high street piece, you know, you're hopefully not breaking the bank either to incorporate a pair of like red tights or a, a black tie into your style. So I hope today's video was quite useful for you guys. If you kind of clutter around or in your closet or maybe your mother's closet you might just find some pieces that are bang on trend for this season anyway as always thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you again very soon bye for now